Today I'm going to share with you guys this cool little inverter I picked up online. It came out of China. It's an aftermarket DeWalt part that will allow you to pull 200 watts out of a normal DeWalt battery with a regular AC plug. Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. Back with another review for you. This week's going to be a good one. We're going to talk about this 200 watt DC to AC adapter that I picked up from a company, and I'm going to butcher this name. It's Melief Tools, M E L L I F T O O L S dot com. It came out of China. It took about a month to show up. I ended up paying uh, $29.99 US plus $8 shipping to get it here. And my plan for this was to just basically use it as an emergency preparedness item. See what I could plug into it, what it would run. It's rated for 200 watts. So let's break down what exactly this is and what it does. And then at the end, I'm going to show you some things I could run on it. First off, you'll see right here, there's a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp USB port. You get a green light that lets you know everything's working. If it's over volted, I don't know if that's the right word or not. It'll flash and let you know. You get a regular AC port. There's a fan on the back to cool it down. And the most surprising thing about this is the all metal construction. I'm really impressed. The plastic, whatever, it is what it is. It's got two little ports right there. And we'll just take it into the small one. It just clips onto your battery like this. And when you do that, it lets you know that you have power coming. Sometimes you can hear just a little tiny bit of a hum if the fan's running a little bit. There's no off switch, so the only way to make sure the power doesn't sit there and drain a little bit the whole time is to disconnect it from the battery. One downside, a couple downsides so far that I've discovered, there's no replaceable fuse. Now it's supposed to have a whole bunch of overload protections in here. I gotta read them to you, but <laughs> it says that there's a bunch of safety sensors to protect from short circuit, overload, over temp, under voltage, over voltage, and reverse polarity. So it's supposed to be well taken care of without the need of having an internal fuse. I still like having a fuse, but it's not real simple to take apart. There's four screws on either end, and then the whole metal housing slides off but um, I've seen exploded diagrams of it online and there's nothing really to replace in there. You can actually charge two USB items at once, so I like that very much so. Uh, just for instance, if you have a regular five amp hour DeWalt 20 volt battery, five amps times 20 volts will give you 100 watt hours, 100 watts of runtime. So if you have a 50 watt item, in theory, you should be able to run this with this for two hours, roughly. Now. I'll tell you about one failure that I had first, and that was I bought a 200 watt rice cooker on Amazon, and I tested it with my kilowatt meter, and it is 200 watts. Exactly, about 198. This won't quite run it. There's no surge at the beginning, I've watched, but this, you know, maybe for a split second, but it won't. It it blinks, it's really close. So it seems like the the nominal or the running voltage with this would be about 180 watts or so. So, you know, that's kind of what you get when you buy these things online. They never quite live up to what they say they can do. Now, uh, real quick about the company itself, uh, Malief Tools, they got a few different things. They got an aftermarket glue gun that'll run on DeWalt batteries. They have LED work lights. They look like really heavy duty metal ones like you'd see mounted on the roof of a truck. They also run on DeWalt batteries, but they also have them for Milwaukee and Makita. And they have these slide-on inverters. They have them for Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, of course, and Bosch in 120 volt and 240 Europe style. So I thought that was kind of cool. This, I, I like it. I've played with it a bunch so far. So here at the end, let's take a look. We're going to go run it on a few items around the house to see what it actually can run. And we'll come back and finish up. We are going to test this out on this LED television. I haven't tested it before, so we're going to see if it works. First thing, we're going to plug it in here. And then the big thing is finding where the right button is. Did I get it? Here we go. We got a blue light on. Give it a minute. There we are. We're going to test out the Wi Fi rotor. I have no dough to the run, but I thought I'd give you an idea of what we could run off this for a bit. And if you can see that, let's see if you can. Yep, it's powered up and running. Okay, we're gonna check it out on a box fan. Well, I'm going to set it to low and then plug it in. See what happens. And then we'll go up each level and maybe I can show you what happens when it turns off.
It seemed to take just a little longer to warm up than I thought it would. Let's go up to medium. All right, and now we'll go up to high. No problem. How about a lamp? We know this is gonna work. I think it's got a 13 watt LED light bulb in it, but I just wanted to show you this as, um, I don't know, a thought experiment, because how many of these could you daisy chain? You know, you could probably have enough light for your entire house off this little thing if you did it right. And there you go. Now, if you thought you could light your entire house with uh, an LED bulb in some lamps, check this out. I'm always game for buying brand new Christmas lights at 75% off at the end of the season. And white LED Christmas lights work like a charm for lighting your house. Check this out. And there you go. They are flickering just a little bit. That's probably, uh, you know, to do with the design of this guy. But in a pinch, if you needed some lighting, that would work. All right, guys, so I hope you liked seeing that. You know, I just tried a few different things, like the TV, the Wi-Fi rotor, a box fan. And I didn't know if it would run these before I started or not. I had my suspicions, but I think it's kind of cool. So what I'm looking for is what do you want me, what do you want to see me use this for? I'd love to do a follow-up video with some wacky tests, some different things that you could run on it in an emergency. And what are your suggestions? What would you like to run off it? Uh, I love my DeWalt batteries and I love emergency preparedness. So this seemed to be a really good marriage of them both. All right, well, that's it for me this week, guys. If you want to know more about who I am and where you can find me, toolmantim.co. That's toolmantim.co, run by there. I got the shop with way over 100 products that I've used and abused, stuff that's made me money or saved me money in my handyman business especially the preparedness gear. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I have used and abused there big time. And uh, if you want to find my social links, they're all there as well, and the monthly newsletter. And if you're new here and you want to keep seeing more emergency preparedness generator tool review videos, hit that subscribe button and stick around. Anyway, guys, that's it for me this week. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.